professional mode and the separate ways DLC is too difficult. That's why it's called professional. Bullet sponge boss fights. Recycled content. Pick a better hill to die on than defending bad business practices. But now we've resorted to complaining about yellow paint in a Resident Evil game because apparently it's ruining our immersion. <laughs> for remake separate ways dlc has been out for a few weeks now so today i have compiled some of the worst hot takes that i've seen i mean how bad could they possibly get i have absolutely no use for your incompetence oh we're about to find out and the last hot take is probably the most ridiculous one well, there's no use standing around. My main issue is that it's basically an abridged version of the main game where you progress through the same areas as Leon, taking slightly different shorter routes. That's the whole point of the DLC. It's like people expected the DLC to take place in an entirely new location. Did nobody play the OG separate ways? Did nobody watch the trailers? With Leon, Ada seems cool, playful, and a little edgy. With Luis, however, she is strangely talkative and impulsive. These have to be Resident Evil fans that just got into the series. The whole point of Ada and Leon's dynamic is they low-key flirt with each other. That is the whole point. Not a bad move. Very smooth. Of course Ada is not going to be serious and intense. She wants to be playful with Leon. She's trying to get his attention. And Luis, of course she's going to be talkative because she's trying to get information out of him. In the original, she is cool and calm, a morally ambiguous and mysterious figure who doesn't seem to care about anything. Easier said than done. Added as DLC months later after launch, with the audacity to charge $10 for content that is part of the base game. That's just sad, Capcom. Come here. Come here. Come here right now. Are we paying attention? Are we still complaining about the DLC being $10? 10? I wanted to enjoy this DLC, but it's just a constant slog of low ammo. Plenty of red and yellow herbs, but no greens. Damage soaking enemies, infuriating archer positions, and a half mm, attempt to tie into the main game. A shame. Now, after all, I do have to be a little bit fair. I will agree that the enemies in the RE4 remake are very bullet spongy. I mean, even the RE2 remake was like that. I mean, we all saw it coming. It's the same developers who made RE2, so it's... I knew it was gonna happen. So let's address probably the most controversial hot take, and that's the $10 price tag that a lot of people have been constantly to this very millisecond are freaking out about. I just don't understand why people are freaking out about the $10 price tag. I've talked about this before the DLC came out, and yeah, boohoo, but I'm gonna talk about it again. Why are people so upset about a $10 price tag? I swear, the same people who complain about the $10, $10 price tag are the same people who are willing to buy the $100 new Modern Warfare 3 Vault Editions. Bullet Sponge boss fights, recycled content. Why the blank wasn't this a free update, at least for owners of the Ultimate Edition? Ultimate Edition? Whoa, guys, I didn't know RE4 Remake had an Ultimate Edition. Let's see, let's go to Resident Evil 4. Okay, so we have Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4 Deluxe Edition. Guys, where's the Ultimate Edition? I don't see it here. Oh, let's not forget that Separate Ways is a shoehorned, shameless cash grab. I swear, the people who call Separate Ways a shameless cash grab are the same people who fight to the end of time to debate whether the Earth is flat or not. People just nitpick over the littlest things. Now, there are some valid criticisms, like this guy right here, Palm. He mentions how the audio sounds kind of weird in certain parts of the DLC, which I think I talked about in my review. But then you get weird weird comments like the new grapple hook only serves for doing certain moves from a distance like what did people expect mortal kombat fatalities and boom fatality even in the second line of his review, he says, This Ada in RE4 is just disappointing. Dull moves, finishers aren't really flashy. I mean, he's reviewing this like he's expecting a Mortal Kombat game out of Ada Wong. Remove content from the base game to get more money out of you. First of all, Separate Ways was not removed. It was added. See, people think that because DLC isn't there at launch that it was cut out. It wasn't even finished in the first place. So how can you cut something out when it's not even ready? I see you've managed to work in a little of your twisted taste here too. 
People like this are the same people who go to restaurants and if they don't get their meal within the next five milliseconds in time, then they get upset and leave the restaurant a zero star review. I mean, seriously, terrible DLC lacks Resident Evil feeling. It's just Catwoman with terrible voice actor and personality based on horror environment. It only deserves four for me. Clearly, these people didn't play the original RE4. And if they did, they played the first minute and realized that they actually have to use their brain to learn their controls and they didn't take the time to learn their controls. And so they put it down and gave the game a zero out of 10 because I suck at video games. If you can't get used to the original RE4 controls, I think you just suck. Hold up. Let him cook. Sorry, the truth hurts, but I was eight years old when I played RE4 for the first time. How are you letting an eight-year-old play the game better than you? And you're still nominated RE4, a game way inferior to the original and with the DLC that was already in the previous version. But hey, it's RE4, the game that everyone loves and gets a pass for everything. All right, everybody stop. I'm about to go on a rant. People like this, I think their biggest problem is the fact that they have way too many expectations. It's the same people who want Want you to roll out the red carpet and serve them their dinners serve them their drinks i'm a real gamer and uh, resident evil 4 should have every bit of content at launch and if it doesn't then the game sucks and capcom is just trying to take more of your money you continue to disappoint me don't get me wrong, I love the original separate ways. It is extremely fun and it's a little bit of extra gameplay that is well worth your time. However, let's not lie to ourselves. Let's not sit here and pretend that the original separate ways was a simple asset flip that only lasted about two to three hours. So when I see people defending the original separate ways so hard, I'm like, why? The OG separate ways, sure, it was fun, but it was rushed and you can tell. Whereas the remake separate ways was fleshed out. The characters were actually fleshed out. The gameplay fleshed out. <laughs> Went and rewatched some Ada scenes from RE2 Remake after finishing separate ways. Night and day difference. Wouldn't have been any issues if they hadn't switched up the voice actress. Now I get it and I even openly said this that yeah, a lot of us weren't the biggest fan of Ada's voice acting in the RE4 remake. But it's like, come on, man. The game has been out for months at this point and we're still poking a grizzly bear. People gotta let it go, man. I mean, seriously. He also said, great DLC. And yeah, all signs point towards more remakes, which I'm more than done with. Let's move on now. I'm sorry, and I'm gonna say it right here and right now. The same people who are like, I'm done with remakes. Uh, I don't want any more remakes. Capcom needs to stop with the remakes. Those are the exact same people who are gonna be there day one buying the next Resident Evil remake. I see the remakes as a great way to balance the mainline games and the remakes. And I see these people who are praising the remakes, great DLC, great, you know, remakes. But then they turn around and they're like, nah, I don't want any more remakes. If you don't want more remakes, then stop supporting the remakes. You are part of the problem. Every version of Separate Ways we've had ported over five times has had Separate Ways and Assignment Ada, but now we have to pay for Separate Ways and other content is still missing? Kick a better hill to die on than defending bad business practices. Why don't you do us all a favor and leave before the audience gets pissed off? So let me take you guys back real quick, okay? For those of you that forgot about Assignment and Ada, which was also in the original RE4. Assignment Ada was this game mode where you run around and collect samples and boom, you can beat it in like 30 minutes or less. I don't, don't quote me on that, but I remember it being very short. And I get it, right? It's missing content. It wasn't in the remake. Sure, I get it. But why are we defending a 30 minute game mode that didn't even need to be in the OG RE4 in the first place? That's like me saying, oh, you remember that little tiny rock that was in the first five minutes of the OG RE4? Well, it's not in the remake, so therefore the remake is soulless. One thing about Resident Evil fans is if you give them a single opportunity to complain, they will most definitely take that opportunity. And I'm not talking about everybody. I'm just talking about the fans who are like this, who are just so entitled, who want everything served to them on a gold platter. Oh, but that's not all. I don't think Separate Ways is bad at all. It just doesn't add much to the gameplay experience. I loved Under the Mayo's uh, RE4, you know, Separate Ways review. I thought it was great, but he mentions a lot of things that just don't make any sense. He makes it seem like you have to run through these areas all over again in the DLC. It's almost like that was the entire point of Separate Ways in the original RE4. But most of the experience felt kind of empty to me, really tame. 
Maybe it's just me and I'm kind of over RE4 at this point. It makes sense that she's running through the same areas that Leon ran through. And it also makes sense that Ada takes shortcuts. It's so weird how a lot of people are like Ada's gameplay isn't anything special. I mean, truly, what were people expecting? Did people expect Ada Wong to become infected and then all of a sudden gain superpowers? Did they want Ada to start crawling up the wall like Spider-Man and doing triple backflips and roundhouse kicking people like four times back to back to back to back to back? I mean, come on, people, for real? Now, Mayo in his video was talking about how, oh, $10 DLC, you know, it's a big deal. First of all, it's $10, which is kind of off-putting given that the original Separate Ways mission was a free part of the original. I do think, however, given the length of the DLC, that it's not so bad that they're charging for it. Now, Under the Mail is a Mortal Kombat fan, a huge Mortal Kombat fan, and I am as well. Now, I just find it weird how Mayo talks about how, you know, he doesn't like the DLC being $10. He doesn't mind it, but it still bothers him. But if we go to Mortal Kombat 1, the premium edition is $110. I just feel like Resident Evil fans are so entitled because people are complaining about $10, but then we'll turn around and buy 300 collector's editions and $100 vault editions and $200 premium editions to their favorite franchises to completely separate franchises. But oh no, when it comes to Resident Evil, God forbid Capcom wants an extra $10 for actually putting out some quality. And if you thought that everything up to this point was the worst that it could get, oh no, trust me, it gets even worse. <laughs> So there's this guy on Twitter named Ness who basically is complaining about the yellow paint being on ladders and breakable crates in Resident Evil games. You know how in like the recent Resident Evil remakes, like if you look at a breakable crate or a ladder, there's like yellow paint on it. Well, he's basically complaining that this is a thing because he feels like it's too obvious that Capcom is trying to make the game, you know, more accessible to people who basically can't pay attention. And it got over 4,000 likes. And again, I can't tell if this is a troll tweet but based off of his replies I, I think he's being serious i mean this is just a low blow first it was the ten dollar argument and then it was the re you know the dlc being soulless and not being you know innovative and you know creative enough but now we've resorted to complaining about yellow paint in a resident evil game seriously guys rate comment and subscribe check out all of my links in the description comment down your thoughts what was the worst hot take in your opinion and i'll catch you guys all in the next one take it easy y'all